Now, from your weather authority, Chief Meteorologist Wayne Hart. Well, after the rain last night and early this morning, we are done with it until the middle part of next week. The focus now will be on the temperatures, which will remain chilly here for the rest of the work week. And then we'll get back to normal over the weekend and then warmer than normal weather at least early next week. So we're not done with fall just yet. Today sure didn't feel that way. 40 was the low. That was pretty close to average. But the high of 50, 12 below normal, more like early December than the early part of November. And that chill will be sticking around for a little while. Highs were generally upper 40s to lower 50s today and we'll be in that same ballpark the next two days and then the slow warm-up begins on Friday and by Saturday afternoon we'll get temperatures back to near average. But on the alerts map tonight, a freeze warning in effect the first of the season for most of the tri-state midnight to 9 a.m. The exception is the southern fringe, Hopkins and Muhlenberg counties. The clouds a little thicker down there so you may not quite get down to 32 but but could see some scattered frost there. But if we don't get a freeze tonight, we've got an even better chance tomorrow night and then again Thursday night and then again Friday night. So if you're on the fence about protecting your plants, you might as well do it because at some point this week, you're going to need to before that warm-up kicks in, but that's still several days away. Live first warning Doppler's dry, and that will be the case until at least late Tuesday of, of next week. This is a dry pattern that we are in, but if we get our first freeze tomorrow morning, that'll be a little bit later than normal. Last year, we had our first freeze on the 1st of November. In 2019, it was on Halloween. 2018, we had an early freeze on the 21st of October. In 2017, October 29th, and that's the average first freeze for the city of Evansville. So we'll be a few days past that average. 2016, though, we didn't have a freeze until the 10th of November, and that followed an even warmer October than the one we just enjoyed. But this evening, it's a little chilly out there. Roofclaim.com tower camera looking down on the Owensboro Riverfront, downtown Evansville, our Superior Ag tower camera. We we're just talking about 420 Maine. That's going to be coming down in a couple of weeks here and the temperatures coming down tonight. 40 degrees, winds are calm, but we had that mid to high level overcast and that should prevent a lot of frost from developing. But look at this, it's already 34 in Jasper. Outskirts of Henderson's 35, 40 in Madisonville, 41 Calhoun and Owensboro. So generally low 30s by daybreak tomorrow. We're four degrees colder tonight than just 24 hours ago in Evansville, 10 degrees colder in uh, Henderson. So coldest night of the season so far. The mid to high level overcast has moved on in. That's going to slowly break up later on tomorrow, but that will help hold in at least some of the heat as all the rain here slides to our south tomorrow and then up the east coast on Thursday and Friday. So Future Tracker, as we take you through the next few days, keeps the mid to high level clouds here overnight and then tomorrow more of a mix of sun and clouds, probably a little more sunshine in the afternoon with highs a lot like today, upper 40s to around 50 degrees. And then tomorrow night with clearing skies, even better chance at a freeze with temperatures into the 30s during the evening will be around 30 by daybreak Thursday, which will be another mostly sunny day. But once again, chilly highs only around 50 degrees, another light freeze for Friday morning. And then on Friday afternoon, sunshine continues, temperatures a little bit warmer into the low to middle 50s. But overnight tonight, the clouds will continue to increase 29 to 33 for a cold overnight low. Then a mix of sun and clouds for tomorrow. Chilly highs much like today, 48 to 50. Seven-day forecast highs for the rest of the week running 50 to 55. Overnight lows will be right around freezing. Even Saturday morning, we're at 33. But Saturday afternoon, we get that temperature much closer to average at 58. 64 and sunshine on Sunday. And then warmer than normal next week, mid to upper 60s, with maybe a few showers coming in later on Tuesday. So the upcoming weekend is going to be very nice and probably one of our best chances to enjoy the fall foliage, which is now really beginning to blossom across the area and you need the sunshine to really enjoy it and we're going to have it this weekend all right and all right. sunshine makes all the difference in the world especially when it's this cold <laughs> all right thanks a lot Wayne.